The Opposition United Workers' Party is blaming the government for the high prices of back-to-school items. Opposition Senator Dominic Faley said at this week's press conference that the government is also using social assistance to perpetuate political victimization against those who do not support them. For many of you, school has reopened, but you're still trying to make ends meet to gather all the supplies you need. Some have reused uniforms and other supplies from last year while others are still suffering from the emotion of political victimization haven't gone to your local MP for help. The high prices of school books has always been a problem for countries like St. Lucia, which cannot yet afford to provide free textbooks for all students, like Barbados, for example. The price of books remain largely out of control of the reach of many families, while shoes, bags, vests, and socks are heavily taxed. Fede also mentioned that other school supplies like shoes and school bags can be quite an expensive burden on parents and guardians. So I went in search of education supplies for my two sons this summer. We priced a backpack and I was shocked to have learned that the price was $385 just for one school bag. I think the brand was spray ground. My sons would know best. Here is the point though, if I had to buy two of these bags, it would cost me $770, almost $1,000, just for two school bags. To make things worse, Fede said that peer pressure was a factor that made the burden even heavier. Many students are under peer pressure in our schools. They're under peer pressure to wear trendy brands just like when you were much younger. It would mean that a parent would face a much higher cost to gather supplies for their children. So to add to the already high cost of school books, bags, shoes, and other supplies, the consideration of recognizable brands is a big factor that adds to the extra cost for you the parents. The opposition senator laid blame at the feet of the government and promised that if his party comes back into office they would alleviate the burden by removing the 2.5 percent health and security levy and consider removing VAT on all school supplies during back to school season. Consideration must also be given to the removal of VAT on bags and on shoes and everything that resembles school supplies during the months of July, of August, and September, we do it every year for the Christmas barrel program. We can do it for back to school. Could the seasonal removal of VAT on school supplies be a feasible plan for making parents' burdens lighter? It would not be as simple as clearing self-contained barrels that do not mix with other imports. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seaflay.